This is one of my jades that I have in our office. These are now getting much too long. Trim these off. And I'll take these portions that I've snipped off. Some of them will turn into plants with individual leaves. Some of them will turn into plants with small stem sections. It's been about two weeks since I'd watered the plant, maybe three, and the cuttings were feeling a little bit flaccid and, and soft. So I actually I soaked them in water for just a couple hours and the leaves are much more firm, much a much more healthy feeling. All three of these are too long to for for what i want and they're also bent they were growing like this and growing up towards the light and i don't want to plant this as a as a cutting by itself because of that bend so i'm going to trim it right in the middle and then here we have something that will make a nice cutting but we also need some stem to stick in the ground so we're going to remove the bottom few leaves Carefully, if you hold the leaf stem and pull downwards, sometimes you have to twist a little bit. You can do that on both sides. And it's sort of up to you how many up the stem you go. Uh, jades will they'll root reasonably well, regardless of how many leaves you pull off, uh, as long as you have a few leaves left to photosynthesize. When you pull these leaves off, the best situation is to get all the way down to the base of the leaf. So there's no leaf left on the stem. This does, uh, the, these leaves that have the full base on them uh, heal up much faster and they're much less prone to rot. With this other section we cut off, um, it doesn't have the nice uh, growing end. So likely what will happen is we'll end up getting a branch at the upper end that we don't root. But I'm gonna go ahead and do them anyway. Obviously, both of these methods work just fine. You'll get a jade plant much faster and you'll get much more growth sooner by starting with a cutting as opposed to a leaf. I'm just gonna set them aside and uh, let them heal over for about 24 hours before I put them on soil. The leaves should heal up faster, especially if you have maintained the full leaf stem. Larger cuttings obviously uh, will take a little bit longer to heal. Um, and I'm just going to dip the end, the wet end of each of the cuttings into the rooting power. This will do two things. It'll encourage root growth, but there's also a uh, antifungal that will help avoid rot. Uh, soil from my garden, regular potting soil. The sand will provide good drainage. Here's the mixture. It's a fairly light soil with some uh, organic matter, but will also drain very well. I'm going to pre-water all of these before I put the plants in. For planting the leaves, I'm just going to lay them right on top of the soil and barely submerge the base of the leaf. Some people do stick them straight in with the leaf vertical. I've found that they grow just fine laying them down. Also, this uh, makes it so that the plant doesn't have to fight its way up through the soil when it starts growing. For the stem cuttings, I'm just going to make a small hole with uh, my pinky. I'm sure there's tools for that. Uh, and then take the end of the cutting that you dipped in the root hormone and put it down in that hole, push the soil around just enough to support it and enough that it's going to stand reasonably well by itself. Place your jade cuttings and leaves in a place where they'll get a lot of indirect light but no direct sunshine, at least for the first several weeks while they're growing roots and can pull water in to the leaves, you don't want them to dry out in direct sunshine. Water them often, you don't want them soaking, but you do want the soil moist so that the roots grow. You can see the end is turning black. After several months, you'll start seeing little plantlets come out of the end of each leaf. 
These are some leaves I started about three months ago. As you can see, they're getting to about an inch tall, perhaps larger than they should be for the size of the container they're in. It's about time to put these in their own individual pots. I also planted these stem cuttings uh, about three months ago, and you can see all of this is new growth. Or on this stem cutting, this whole top section is new growth. So I'm pre-watering the soil. So this allows the soil to settle. Uh, and if it settles more than we want, we can top it off again. I'm gonna start by very carefully removing one of them. I'm using a spoon. They're a little bit crowded in here and I don't want to damage any of the others. And I want to cut as few of roots as I can. There's a nice little root ball on there. Um, you do see we have one main stalk. Remove the smaller, weaker of them. Some of them I'll leave, but I don't want them too crowded. So for a very small one like this, I'm gonna pinch it off. I'll probably throw this in a pot elsewhere just to see if it grows. For most of these, I'm going to leave the large parent leaf attached so I can continue to photosynthesize and support the smaller plant through the stress of transplanting. But another option is you can trim this parent leaf off. Um, this little plant by itself should still grow just fine. Um, and then if you let this cut leaf heal over, you can start even more jades. For the transplants, you don't want them to get too much direct sunlight right away. Uh, you want them to just get a lot of indirect light as they recover from the transplanting. Eventually, you can move them into several hours of sunshine a day, like a typical jade. After several weeks, the jades will start all leaning towards the light source. And so I'm gonna turn them around. So they'll start growing straighter instead of all bent over to one side. 